girlies welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome to my channel where I do lots of girly fashion videos so today's video is going to be on my top 10 favorite fashion hacks of all time and these are just all things that I've collected over many many years of working with and around fashion and I'm super duper excited to show you guys these because I've just kind of put them all together in one video and it feels so good to have everything that I want to tell you guys and quick things that are life-changing for me all together in one big hack video. So without further ado, my top 10 favorite fashion hacks. So this first hack is for those pesky little snags that happen ever so easily. And the fix to it is just this little needle here with a texture and it's made specifically for snags. You just poke the needle through where the snag is and run it through the whole garment and the snag will pop out on the other side and your shirt or whatever piece will look brand new again. And you are snag free. So I realize a makeup stain isn't the best example for this hack, but so many times these little shout wipes have saved me when I'm out and about and get a stain on my outfit usually food related. It seriously works so well and I usually only use half of one. So now you can go out in white with full confidence. So for this next hack you will need a little mini dress with a zipper on the side and you just zip it down halfway and tuck in the top half of your dress and it already looks super cute as a skirt already, but if you want to finish it off even more, you can add a cute little belt to make the outfit look super believable that it was never a dress before, and you have a whole new look with your cute pattern of your favorite mini dress. So, some of you may already know these, but the first quick way to turn your sweater into a crop top is by tying a hairband around the front of the top and tucking everything under to create a cute, relaxed look. The next quick crop method is the bra tuck. I would most definitely recommend a sports bra for this. You just tuck the edges of the shirt into the bottom of the bra and you have a super cute, new cropped look to show off your waistline. So this is just a quick little hack for tarnished jewelry. And all you need for it is a toothbrush that you don't mind not reusing again, and some toothpaste. All you do is you get a little bit of toothpaste on your dry toothbrush, and you just start to scrub it into the jewelry. Don't be afraid to scrub hard enough to get into all the little nook and crannies, but also be careful if it is a softer metal or a real silver or gold. Towards the end, I just use a little bit of water also just to get deep into the cracks and kind of rinse off a little bit. And then I also just pat dry it, as well as also drying slash cleaning it a little bit more with a silver cleaning square like this one here that I got off of eBay. Now, as you can see, everything's just a little bit brighter and more silver on the one on the right, and you can kind of see the leftover tarnish on the left. This hack just really helps to improve the life of your jewelry and add a little bit more shine. Do any of your clothes look just a little bit too loved? If they do, don't worry, all that you need to do is get a shaver or a razor and just shave off all those little pills and you can see there's definitely a lot of progress happening and then also I go in with a sticky roller just to pick them all up as I go and it looks so, so much better and smoother after and you can keep on wearing your favorite piece. So... These plastic hangers have got to go. My absolute favorite are these velvet hangers. These are such a good replacement because they will keep your clothes on the hangers without slipping at all. They are super cute and come in a bunch of different colors and you can also fit a ton of them on the rack at once. This next hack is all about presentation and making all your heels look really beautiful on display. All that you need are these little clear things here. I got mine from AliExpress and they work really well for lace-up heels. That way you can contain all those little strappies. And they also work well on heels that just flop over if you want to show off the details of the straps just a little bit more. And now all your heels look just as pretty on display as they do on your foot. 
Whenever I'm going out last minute and don't have time to shower, most of my other dry shampoos have failed me, but one that has not failed me yet is baby powder. As weird as it sounds, it works so, so well. I just sprinkle it in my hair and then puff another dry shampoo into it just to kind of fluff up the hair. And then that is pretty much it. It's way cheaper than all the other expensive dry shampoos on the market and it really does work. Have a long dress that you wish was mini for the day? No problem. All that you need are some safety pins and you just turn the dress inside out and fold the skirt up halfway up to the seams on the side and just safety pin to the waistband. Once you have done both sides, then just go to the middle and safety pin there and then go to the middle of those little loops and safety pin as much as you need until the dress is all the way pinned up. And then when you turn it right side out, you have a cute little bubble style mini dress that you didn't have to sew for and you can turn it right back into a long dress again if you need to. Bonus hack, because just in case you guys haven't seen my downsizing the waist of jeans video, I thought I would include it. It's for whenever the waist in jeans is just a little bit too big, all that you need is elastic and you just cut out halfway through the waistband of your jeans and then you attach a safety pin to the end of your elastic and run it through the waistband. Do keep in mind tags might also get in the way so you might need to clip those off. Once you get the elastic all the way through, safety pin it down on one side and try the jeans on and mark how tight you want the elastic to be. Take the jeans back off and then stretch the elastic to the desired point and safety pin it there. Then cut off the extra elastic and then sew down very well the sides of the elastic so it doesn't slip. And now your jeans fit you perfectly in the waist and have a cute kind of cinched look in the back. And you can take out the elastic anytime you like as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up. And also let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite hack and also if you're going to be trying one of them. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Love you guys so much, and I will see you next time.